Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. We're making a quilt sandwich today for this polyester quilt. So if you wanna see how I prepare a quilt for quilting, please stay tuned. The front here and the back of my polyester quilt that I've been working on for a few weeks now. These were inspired by panels that were made by my grandmother and the panels are actually part of the quilt. For each um, section I have added borders all the way around and I added borders for the back so that it would be a little bit larger than the front. It's time to go ahead and get this ready for quilting because I have a front and a back and so I want to go ahead while I have the batting and finish out this quilt. Usually I make a binding already but I have not made the binding for this quilt. I want to get it quilted first and then I'll see what speaks to me in terms of fabrics if I want to um, combine the scraps that I already have or if I want to get use a solid piece. I haven't decided that yet. So I'll be deciding after I get this quilted. For this process, we do have just a few materials that we're gonna need. And I'm doing the process a little bit differently from the way that I normally would. Usually I make the backing really, really huge. And so there's always plenty of room and the top just sits in the middle. For this one, I think that I've only done about eight inches larger than the, the top so I'm going to actually cut my batting to the um, to the size of the quilt backing that's going to be my first step so I have the top here I have the quilt backing here and I'm going to use just my regular scissors to cut the batting down and then the only other thing that I'm going to need are some safety pins and I try to use the one inch safety pins for quilting and they have the, the curved edge so that they can dig a little bit deeper into the, into the fabric and it'll be easier to, to, uh, to get it in there. Um, so for the batting, I have, I got this Pellon Nature's Touch cotton batting. Um, I am a big fan of Warm and Natural but I went to Joann's and they don't sell Warm and Natural anymore. I'm just gonna try this one out and see if I like it. I have already taken it out of the packaging and I just laid it out on my bed so that it could lose some of those folds and, and get ready. And I let that sit all day um, while I get ready to, to cut it down. So it's been sitting out. This says that you can stitch it. It says eight to 10 inches apart maximum. And I'm going to do a, um, I'm gonna do an all over pattern so that won't be an issue. All right, the first, um, I'm gonna go and lay out the batting on the floor and get ready for cutting it down to the size of this backing. I've placed my back of the quilt on my batting. I actually turn the batting so that it's right side toward the floor and that way after I get done cutting around it I can just pick the whole thing up and flip it over. Now normally I think that if I was going to do this I would try to get closer to the edge so that um, we could I could have some more scraps but because this piece is so wonky it was I think it's better for me to start in the middle. So now, again, let me say that again. So it's right, the batting is right side down. So this is actually on the back side of the batting. Um, the batting that I used before, that warm and natural, it does have a front and back. And I do feel like this Pellon has a front and back. Um, the front side is a little, it feels a little softer. The back side has a few ridges on it and it feels more bumpy. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and cut along the outside edge of this. I'm just trying to give it the best possibility, the best chance to lay flat. To me, there's still some parts that are a little bit not flat, but I'm gonna try to give it the best chance to lie flat. I'm gonna cut around this. I will do it on camera, but I'll speed it up 
so that um, it doesn't take as much time, but I do want to show that part, that part on camera. Cut around. Um, I did cut around three sides. I left the top as it was because I just didn't want to get in there. I think that it'll still be fine and I'll be able to um, fit the other part of the quilt and I'll just have a little extra batting both at the top and at the bottom just in case something moves weird. I have a little extra um, that I can work with. So now I'm going to get this flipped over and I think I need another person to help me flip it over. And then I'm going to lay down the quilt top and start pinning. I have the quilt top down on the uh, batting and backing. And I try to get it as straight as I could. Hopefully I can pin it so there won't be any um, puckers in it. But there's really, I don't know if there's any way of knowing that. I'm concerned a little bit about the bottom because it's really close to the edge. Let me see. You see that? It's really close to the edge right there and on the other side. But I'm going to pin it and it should be fine. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit and I'll show you how I handle this pinning. All right. I'm going to prepare to pin this. I'm actually on a pretty dark section of the quilt, so you may not be able to see it as well, but the process, hopefully you can see the process and, and I'll show you as I go through the rest of it in some parts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm starting in the middle of the, the quilt, right in the center, and I'm gonna start basting with pins. I'm just going to take one of my safety pins and I'm just going to start right here in the middle and then I'm going to push it, pull it through all three layers and then clasp it. So here we go. And then to do the other ones, I'm going to do about a fist width around all four sides. And then I'm going to try to keep the pins about a fist width apart. And hopefully that will help me flatten out the uh, quilt. And you want to put them close enough so that when you're quilting, the fabric doesn't move too much. And it'll give you a better chance of getting nice quilting stitches and hopefully very few puckers. And of course, I'm working with this polyester, so I really, I don't know what's going to happen once I try to stitch this together. I'm just trying to keep the top spread out, you know, as much as I can as I lay out the pins. So I'll do a little bit of this and then I'll come back and show you my progress and maybe I'll take some time and do a part of the video and speed it up. But let me do just a little bit of this and I will come back, show you how it looks. I've finished basting the quilt, putting all these pins in it. I was going to try to film a session of it but I broke the tripod and so I can't but I'll do a little zoom in see if we can see from top to bottom here let's see the entire thing is done and I really like it uh, I want to turn the quilt over 
so you can see the back of it just so you can have an idea of how much of the back is going to get cut off but I may not uh, be able to do that I'll probably take a picture of it and then um, insert it here in the video but I'm really excited I'm still doing some research about quilting ideas how to quilt this thing if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below thumbs up this video share it with your friends and I'll see you next time thank you for watching Bye.